Ever since I got the new microscope and HDMI camera setup, I was thinking of ways to capture video on my computer from the uh, microscope camera. This particular camera is the Hayer 34 megapixel model, which I reviewed in Vollog 292. It outputs 1080p at 60 frames per second over HDMI, and it does have on board the micro SD card recording, so I could record images or videos to an SD card, but if you want to live stream the camera feed, a capture card is needed on your computer. There are countless options in terms of capture cards, but as usual, I tried to find the cheapest option that does the job well enough. This particular unit came up in my searches. It's relatively inexpensive when compared to other options that advertise uh, similar specs, 1080p at 60 frames per second. This has two HDMI ports. One is an input to capture uh, the other one should be a pass-through so you can connect a monitor at the same time with capturing video but we'll see if that function works as advertised in a few minutes we have a uh, usb type c connector for the computer side and an audio output uh, 3.5 millimeter jack it is mentioned in the product page that it's supposed to have a delay between uh, audio and video so i'm guessing it's related to this uh, audio output port the enclosure is uh, aluminium which uh, should help with heat dissipation inside the box you get a usb a to usb type c cable about one meter long a small usb a to type c adapter a disk and a user manual. You might be interested to check out the sponsor of this video, jlcpcb.com, where you can get your prototype PCBs manufactured for just $2 in any solder mask color with no extra cost. And if you need the boards professionally assembled, they also offer an affordable SMT assembly service. Regarding drivers and OS support, they claim it's plug and play from Windows 7 and up, Linux, Mac OS 10.8 and above and Android 9.0 and above. So it's pretty universal in terms of that. I've only tested this with Windows 10 and it installs automatically in just a couple of seconds. It shows up under camera devices in the device manager as FHD capture. Since this emulates a camera device, it should be supported under many different video capture type software. But if you want to get started capturing images right away on Windows 10, you have the built-in camera app which does the job. There is a limited number of options in this simple app. You can select just image resolution and adjust brightness. As soon as you connect, you will notice the image is a bit dark. So I adjusted the brightness setting to something like 180 for a decent image. You can record video or images, but upon checking the resulting media file from this app, it appears it's only recorded as 1080p 30 frames per second, even though the app was set for 60 frames per second video resolution. I've also tried VLC. The image quality seems better with VLC and if you configure it for 1920 by 1080 p 60 frames per second, it does record in a 60 frames per second stream as shown by the codec information tab. OBS works just as well. The image looks good and is capable of recording the screen from this capture card. I also took a quick look at the small disk they included. You get a media player and the AMCAP software, so don't bother with this disc, it's pretty much useless. Now regarding the HDMI pass-through port, it does work as intended. I can have my monitor plugged into that secondary HDMI port on the capture card and it will show images at the same time with the interface capturing the feed. It's a bit fiddly in terms of the order in which you connect stuff, so it's recommended to first hook up the HDMI connections and only then plug the card into the USB port for power up. This feature might be useful for some people, so it's good to know you can count on that working fine with this capture card. I've noticed the capture card is getting slightly warm after longer usage, but it's nothing to worry about. It's about 37 degrees Celsius as shown by my FLIR thermal camera. The case is aluminium, so it's just helping dissipate that heat away. Another thing I wanted to check with this capture card is to compare the quality of the image versus, let's say, the SD card recording on the microscope camera itself. So I recorded two video samples at the same time, one on the SD card, the other one using OBS on my computer through the capture card. I then extracted a couple of snapshots from those video files for static comparison and surprisingly the quality seems just a bit better on the image captured through the capture card with OBS. It seems a bit sharp 
sharper and brighter so it's possibly the capture card does these uh, things internally I don't mind that but I would imagine this can be a problem for those working in video production they might want to obtain just the original footage with no extra editing added by the capture card itself this wouldn't be a complete review without a teardown looks like it's pretty easy to get inside this case just a few screws to remove and we can access the PCB inside if you are interested in some high resolution images of this board check out the blog post on vollog.com as expected they uh, rubbed off the numbers on the main chips used in this system this one is probably handling the USB interface and this one is likely capturing the image data and compressing it uh, before USB transmission they did however leave alone the markings on uh, these two chips which are the input and output HDMI interfaces now the assembly quality looks good uh, soldering is good no obvious issues except for these uh, empty footprints uh, which I assume might have been for HDMI ESD protection uh, they skimmed on those this uh, date code of September 2019 makes this PCB revision less than a year old and now for the verdict on this USB capture card as we've seen from the test performed it does the job as advertised meets the 1080p 60 frames per second spec the uh, pass through port works as expected you can have a monitor connected to that the build quality is decent and a big plus is the plug and play operation at least on Windows 10 where I've tested this the image quality is good so if you're in the market for a budget capture card I think this is the best choice and I don't think you can get better than this in the same budget that was all for today don't forget you can support the channel on patreon with as little as one dollar per month and you'll find links to the gear used in this video the microscope the camera the monitor and of course the USB capture itself in the description below the video I will also link on screen the review of the HDMI camera I use on my microscope. If you're interested in watching that, just click here and I'll see you next time.